Hey everyone, this is Relics. And I'm Nectron. And we're watching round four of the World Tanks Classic League Season 1 on the map Comarin with 116th Windhund facing off against SFRJ. So let's go ahead and take a look at the tank loadouts here first. 116th is running a E100, a Moss, three IS7s, two T110s, a Badgeant for medium, a T92 for a single artillery, and a BT7 for probably some passive scouting on that. Um, so we got an E100 and Moss on defense there. I'd imagine we're going to have a, a five tank push here somewhere. Meanwhile, their opponents are running four IS-7s, T110, Bat Chat, Type 59, three Tier 7 Arties, uh, GW Tiger, and two 212s. All right. So let's see what they do with it. Let's get it going. All right. Starting out here, let me just say this is the ugliest camo I have ever seen on a tank. It's like rust yellow. Is that what this is? I'm not entirely sure what that is. All right, so we got some tank movement here, and we are seeing at least four tanks rushing down the south. They're T92 moving over here as well. Batshat crossing the bridge right away. And their E100 and Moss looks like they're going to the island, and one tank back on defense along with that BT7 for uh, probably passive scouting up there to see if uh, they're getting a counter rush. And it looks like we have a cap Russian coming. That is five. It looks like all of their heavy, so they're probably sending both mediums down the 9-0. And they've got all already bare. Uh, probably around J1, K1 right now. Yep. And I saw at least one medium pushing down the 9 right there. I'm sure the other one is probably close to follow. With their uh, with the T ninety two being so far over this way though, they're not gonna probably find anything over there. This is kind of an interesting move here too. They have one IS seven forward in the bat shot lighting. I wonder if they can really see that IS seven and T one ten back there, because there is that little lip in all the bushes in the back. Uh yeah, they Definitely wouldn't be able to see a chorus back there. The most distant I is Evan. I think my biggest worry at this point right back there is if they know the T92 is coming from that angle, it's going to be pretty easy to counter him. There's not a lot of place he can go. Ah, and here we are with the BT7 on the cap getting points. So that's putting quite a bit of pressure on him as well. It looks like the bat shot is broken through in the east. He's trying to find the T92 right now. Oh, and they did leave their Type 59 back in the uh, A column there. That's a good call. That BT7 is not going to be able to cap him out with that there. Uh, it was probably about a minute ago I saw him retreating from the heavy pack. So he was probably over here for a uh, scout screen as well and then swung east when the bat shot moved in. I'm surprised they're not moving this uh, E100 and Moss a little bit more, but they may have shots into the back there. I know it, it levels out a little bit further in the back of that town. Um, oh, there he is. I was about to ask where that bat chat went. I think he combed that forest pretty thoroughly looking for the 92. So it's a pretty safe bet that they do not know he moved himself to K3. Yeah. Oh, they do now. Looks like that was a, a counter battery there, or maybe that, that bat shot spotted him. Uh, my guess is he spotted him as he came out of the forest, and that's why he turned right back in. Yeah, at this point, the brawling in the city there really all went to 116th's favor there. Which is surprising, considering that SF had... Uh, three artillery yep and five is7 or four is7s to bear right in front of them as well I'm thinking they had spotting issues to really tell them where those tanks were because the, the distance across between the two the two groups there is pretty big that bat shot doing uh, scouting on that inner ridge was really good. So 
So at this point, we just have the Tiger hiding in here and the Type 59 over there, so this is obviously going to 1 16th. I, I like that idea of put it, kind of going for a, a straight counter rush, going right into the 1 2 to stop them from rushing and uh, making them hold down back there while you control the rest of the field. That seemed to work really well. Uh, the only risk there being if you get lit trying to cross the bridge and they manage to clog it on you, you're all stuck in those flats trying to escape while Artie is pounding you. Yep, and against a team that has three artillery, that can mean pretty bad things for you. Alright, good fight guys. Congrats to 116th.